What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And in this video, I'm going to be building the mission models contained in bag three for the FLL Cargo Connect 2021-2022 game. Contained in this set of bags is the hinged container, three gray containers, and the container contents. And in order to successfully build these mission models, all you will need is these two bags labeled number three right here. You do not need any of the parts in the unlabeled bags. Now before we get into the build, I just want to apologize for any potential background noise and any slight variations in the lighting. With that said, let's get into the build and I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so for the first step you're going to need one of these blue plates and you're going to need two of those long blue pins. Now one thing that I want to point out right away is these plate pieces have a top and a bottom. So you see this right here is the top, it's mostly flat except for that small ridge there in the middle, but then if we flip it over that is not completely flat, you have this big area that goes down in here. So what you're gonna do first is you wanna be on this side right here, so on the bottom, and then you wanna take the short end of these blue pins and put one in this hole here and one in this hole here. So that piece should look just like this. And now you'll be needing two of these blue L's and now on each side here, you're going to insert the blue pin into this hole right here. So just like this. And when you do that, just be careful of the orientation of this L. You'll notice that the short side of this L is flush with the short side of this plate. And then the long side of the L is flush with the long side of the plate. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So that hole that I pointed out, just like that. Again, short flush with short, long flush with long. And that should look just like this. And now you'll be needing two of these size three yellow axles. The way that you can tell these are size three is if you hold them up next to a beam and the number of holes it spans is the size that it is. So if I take a beam real quick and I hold it up to the axle, you'll see that the yellow axle spans one, two, three holes. So you know they are size three axles. And what you were going to do with those is insert them into the two axle holes right here. And it should look just like this. And now you can set this piece off to the side. And now you'll be needing two of those long blue pins, one of those size nine blue beams, and one of those size three blue beams. You know the size of the beam because that's how many holes it is. So here we have three holes, that's a size three beam. And the first thing you are going to do is insert the short end of these blue pins into the two end holes of this size three beam. And you're gonna insert them on the same side. So it should look just like that. And now you're going to insert these two blue pins into this size nine blue beam right here so that it is centered. And if you do that, you'll see we have three holes on either side of these two pins so you know that it's centered and it should look just like this. And now you'll be needing one of these size three yellow axles and one of those gray pieces that has a size three beam with a little axle hole attached to it. And what you're going to do is you're going to put that gray piece onto the two blue pins such that the axle hole is faced away from you. And then you're going to take the yellow axle and insert it into that axle hole such that it is even on both sides. So if you look at that, there's roughly an equal amount of yellow axle on either side of this gray piece right here. And the final part should look just like this. And now you'll be needing two of these gray pieces that have a beam hole and an axle hole. And what you are going to do is you're going to insert the yellow axle into the axle hole of each one. So you're going to go like this and you just want to make sure that the beam hole is pointed upwards on both of them. And that should look just like this. And now you can pick up the piece that I told you to set aside earlier. And you are going to go ahead and put this piece you just made onto these two blue pins and these two yellow axles. So just like this.
so the final piece should look just like this. And now you'll be needing two of those long blue pins and two of those size 3 blue beams. Another thing to note here is there is a set of light blue size 3 beams and you don't want to use those yet. You want to use the dark blue ones until I specify that it is the light blue ones. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to take the short end of these blue pins and you're going to insert one into this hole and one into this hole. So it should look like that. And now you're going to take the two beams and you're going to insert these two pins into the center hole of the blue beam. And again, just make sure they are flush with the original plate that we started with. And it should look just like this. And now you will be needing four of those long blue pins and two of those size three blue beams. And now what you want to do is insert the short end of these blue pins into the four corner holes of this piece. So one here, one here, one there, and one over here. So just like this. So just like that, and then you're going to go ahead and take the two size 3 blue beams and put them onto those four pins that you just inserted. And the final piece should look just like this. And now you'll be needing two of these blue L's. And what you are going to do is on each side, you're going to insert the yellow axle into the axle hole of the L, and then you're going to insert this blue pin into the corner hole of the blue L. So just like this. So it should look just like this. And now you are going to need one size 9 blue beam, two size 5 blue beams, and two of those long blue pins. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take the short side of the two blue pins and put them in the end holes of the size 5 blue beam, making sure they are on the same side. So just like that. And then you're going to take the size 9 blue beam and put it on top of that, making sure that it is centered. So you see we have two holes on either side of those pins, so you know it's centered. And then you're going to take the other size 5 blue beam and put it on top of that. So you should have a piece that looks like this. And now what you're going to do with this is you're going to take these two end holes of that size 9 blue beam in the middle and you're going to insert it onto these two pins right here. So just like this. And the final piece should look just like this. Now you are going to be needing two more size 3 blue beams and two of those long blue pins. And now you're going to take the long side of those blue pins and insert them into this hole and this hole all the way. So just like that. And now you're going to take the size 3 blue beams and put them on these four pins right here. So the final piece should look just like this. Now you'll be needing that size 5 gray axle and two of those gray pieces that have a beam hole and an axle hole. And the first thing you're going to do is insert the axle into the axle hole of one of these gray pieces. And then you're going to go ahead and stick that through the two gray beam holes right here. And now finally you're going to insert the end of this gray axle into the axle hole of this gray piece. Just make sure that when you do that, both of these holes are in the same orientation, so you see they are currently facing the same direction. And the final piece should look just like this. And now you'll be needing another one of those blue plates and two of those black pins. And the first thing you are going to do is insert the black pins into these two holes right here. Just make sure they are on the same side.
So just like that, and now you're going to take this blue plate and insert it onto these two black pins right here. Just make sure when you do that, the bottom of the plate is facing you. So now this should be able to rotate, and to make sure that you put the plate on correctly, if you close up the box, the top of the box should be the top of the plate. This is now the completed hinged container, and it should look just like this. And now I'm going to set this off to the side. Now you are going to need six green L's, four of those size nine orange beams, and now two of those light blue size three beams. And now with these, you don't actually have to do any building. These are your container contents, and I'm going to set them off to the side. Now for the following steps, you're going to be building the gray containers and you need to build three of those, so I'm just gonna go ahead and build them all at the same time. And now in order to do that, you're going to need three of those gray plates and three of those light gray pieces that have a long pin and an axle hole on top. And now you're going to insert these pins into this hole on each plate and make sure it is the top face of the plate. There's one right there, one right there, and one right there. So you should have three pieces that look just like this. Now you'll be needing three more of these gray plates. And now what you're going to do is you're gonna take the pin of each of these pieces you just made and insert it into the same hole on another gray plate, except this time you're inserting it into the bottom face of the plate. So just like this. Now I'm going to do that to the other ones. So you should have three pieces that look just like this. Now you'll be needing nine more of these gray pieces that have a long pin and an axle hole on top. And now what you're going to do with those is you're gonna insert them into the remaining three holes on these pieces you just made. So just like that, and now I'm going to do it to the other ones. And now you should have three pieces that look just like this. And now you'll be needing 12 of these gray pieces that have a short axle and a long pin. And now what you're going to do with these is insert the axle into the axle holes of all of these pieces that you just put in. So just like that, and now I'm going to do it to the other ones. So you should have three pieces that look just like this. And now you'll be needing six more of these gray plates. And now what you're going to do is you're going to put one on top of these four pins right here. And you want to make sure it's bottom face up. So just like this. And then you want to put one more on top of that, except now you want the top face up. So just like that, and now I'm going to do it to the other ones.
So these are now your three completed gray containers and they should look just like this. All right, now just before we end the video, there is one thing that I would like to point out. In one of my bags labeled number three, I still have one of those black pins left over. And if you also have any extra pieces, that is completely normal. Do not be worried. Typically, they include extra pieces, usually the smaller ones. In case you happen to lose one, you'll have an extra and it won't be a huge deal. All right, so here we have the completed gray containers, the container contents, and the hinged container, and those are the mission models contained in bag three. So that's about it for this video. Feel free to check out all our other LEGO videos in the playlist in the top left corner. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.